Hi guys, um, first off let me apologize for my appearance and my voice. I have a really bad cold. But the good news is that the cure to all illness lies within these. These are zebra cakes for those of you who don't know. Um, they're little snack cakes and they are really delicious. Uh, if you follow my blog, you'll know that uh, me and zebra cakes go way back. Um, I posted a funny story. When I first went to outpatient treatment, I was, I just turned 13 and I didn't know what an eating disorder was and I didn't believe that I had one. And I met with the nutrition, nutritionist for the first time and she was like, Shannon, do you have any safe foods? And I had no idea what a safe food was. Like, that didn't make any sense to me. So I was like, well, it's a safe food. And she was like, you know, like, something that your eating disorder doesn't get mad at you when you eat it. And I had, I was panicking, and I had anxiety about answering the question because I didn't know what she meant. So I was just like, zebra cakes. And, like, that's kind of a weird safe food to have. And the nutritionist was like, what did you say? And I was like, um, zebra cakes? And she never questioned me about that, but whatever. Anyway, it's kind of funny that that I said it was a safe food when now they're like a fear food for me. Um, not zebra cakes in specific, but the white carbs and the refined sugar makes me pretty anxious. And I haven't had a zebra cake in several years, probably. Um... But today, I was like, wow, I really want some zebra cakes. So my mom came home with three big boxes of them. And I was like, I only wanted one package, but, you know, I guess I'll take it. They'll get eaten one way or another. And um, so, yeah, I have these zebra cakes. And we're just going to do a comparison really quick. I'm going to stand up. So this is my body before eating the zebra cakes, right? So now I'm going to sit back down, and I'm going to eat the zebra cakes. Cheers, everybody. Those are just as good as I remember them being. And we're done. And those were really good. So real quick, here's my body after the zebra cakes. It looks pretty similar. No magical weight gain. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so basically I guess the point of this video was if you have an otherwise balanced diet and you like zebra cakes, Go and eat your zebra cakes. It's okay. I know that for you guys in recovery, it's really tough to defeat your fear foods. And I'm so proud of all of you who have set a great example in, you know, continuing quieting the voice of your eating disorder. And, sorry, I have like a bunch of stuff in my teeth. <laughs> okay. We're good. Anyway. And if you're not there yet, if you're not at a point where you feel comfortable, like, branching out from your safe foods, you'll get there. And it's okay. And it's a scary thing to do, you know, eat something that you're uncomfortable with. But, I don't know. I just have a lot of faith in you guys, and you can do it. And, yeah, I just defeated one of my fear foods, so... Thank you guys for watching.